Welcome sa e-school ng bayan. Andito ako para samahan kayong mag-review. Tara, aral! Kat is 25 years younger than her father. Her father's age 4 years ago is twice her age in 3 years. How old is Kat and her father now? Sa mga age problems, gusto kong gumagawa ng table para mas nakikita ko kung ano yung relationship ng mga bagay-bagay. So, let's create a table. So, sa timeline natin, meron tayo ng now. 4 years ago or negative 4, age in 3 years or positive 3. Dito naman, isusulat natin ang K for cat and F for father. So, meron na tayong table. Let's start with the now column. So, sa now column, let X be equal to cat's age now. Okay? So, here isusulat natin X. How about kay father? Since Kat is 25 years younger than her father, isusulat natin to x plus 25. So punta naman tayo sa column ng negative 4. Her father's age 4 years ago is twice her age in 3 years. Since concerned lang tayo with father's age 4 years ago, hindi ko na to susulatan. Here, we will write x plus 25, which is yung age ni father now, minus 4. So, Next naman is itong positive 3 column. Since concerned lang tayo sa age niya in 3 years, hindi na natin isasama si father. So what is cat's age in 3 years? Now plus 3. X plus 3. So since complete na yung ating table, i-relate natin ito, yung father's age 4 years ago to her age in 3 years. So we have father's age, x plus 25 minus 4 is equal to twice her age in 3 years. So 2 times x plus 3. Simplifying, 25 minus 4 is equal to 21. 2 times x plus 3, we have 2x plus 6. Okay, so combining like terms, yung may x, ilipat natin sa kabila. Itong constant, ilipat sa kabila. 21 minus 6 is equal to 2x minus x. 21 minus 6 is equal to 15. 2x minus x is equal to x. Yung kay father naman is equal to 15 plus 25 which is equal to 40. So our final answer is 15 and 40. In a class of 50 students, 24 students like playing basketball, 26 like playing volleyball, 20 like badminton, 11 play both basketball and volleyball, 10 play both volleyball and badminton, 7 play both basketball and badminton, and 3 play all the 3 sports. How many students do not play any of the three sports? So to solve this problem, gagawa tayo ng Venn diagram. So since we have three sports, we will use three circles representing the three sports. This one is for basketball, this one is for volleyball, and this one is for badminton. Let's check the intersection of all three sports. Ilang students ang naglalaro ng tatlong sport? We have three students. Next naman natin titingnan ay ang mga students na may at least two sports. So when we say 11 play both basketball and volleyball, hindi necessarily na basketball and volleyball lang. So in order to get the number of students who play basketball and volleyball only, subtract natin yung 11 minus 3 which is equal to 8. The same method ang gagawin natin para makuha natin a number of students who play badminton and volleyball only. So that's 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. For the number of students who play badminton and basketball only, meron tayong 7 minus 3 which is equal to 4. Similarly, when we say 24 students like playing basketball, hindi lang basketball ang nilalaro nila. So we subtract 8 plus 4 plus 3 from 24. 
So we have 24 minus 15 is equal to 9. Ganun din ang gagawin natin para makuha ang number of students who play volleyball only. So we have 26 minus 18 is equal to 8. And to get the number of students who play badminton only, we have 20 minus 14 is equal to 6. Ngayon na na-complete na natin ang labels ng diagram, we will add all these numbers to get the total number of students who play at least one sport. So we have 9 plus 8 plus 4 plus 3 plus 8 plus 7 plus 6, which is equal to 45. So we subtract this from the total number of students. 50 minus 45 is equal to 5. 5 students do not play any of the 3 sports. This is our final answer. At a certain time of the day, a 40 feet flagpole casts a shadow of 30 feet. At the same time, how long is the shadow of a 5 feet boy? Okay, so idraw muna natin. We have a 40 feet flagpole and a 5 feet boy. Pareho silang may shadow. The shadow of the flagpole is 30 feet. While the shadow of the boy is unknown. If this happened at a certain time at exactly the same time of the day, we can say that the angle formed by the shadow are, are equal. Angle A and angle A. So if we form a triangle connecting these two, these are actually maritime similar triangles. So if you have similar triangles, you have equal internal angles. And kapag may equal internal angles ka, yung side lengths natin ay proportional. Okay? So here we have 40, 30, and 5 feet. Ang shadow naman ng 5 feet boy ay unknown, so let's write x. Since meron tayong similar triangles, yung ratio ng ating actual height and ng ating shadow length should be equal for the flagpole and the 5 feet boy. Actual is 40, shadow is 30 is equal to actual height of the boy is 5 feet over a node. Okay, so to get x, transfer x to the other side. This remains as 5. 30, 40 over 30 becomes 30 over 40. Final answer is, this becomes 1, 8, 30 over 8 feet. 30 over 80 is also equal to 3 and 3 fourths feet or 3 feet and 9 inches. That's our final answer. Find the roots of 2 is equal to 3x squared minus 5x. So, para mas madali, kailangan natin ilipat ang sa kabilang side ng equation. So that, ang matitira sa atin on one side is 0. 0 is equal to 3x squared minus 5x. Positive dito yung 2 kapag dilipat natin maging negative 2. Okay, now we're gonna factor 3x squared minus 5x minus 2. Ang factors ng 3x squared ay 3x and x. Ang factors naman ng negative 2 ay 2 and 1. So, paano natin makukuha ang negative 5x? Dapat, nandito ang negative 2 at nandito naman ang positive 1. Okay, let's check. Three 3x times negative 2 is negative 6x. 1 times x is 1x. Negative 6x plus 1x is equal to 
negative 5x. So that's correct. So this side will be equal to 0 when three x plus one is equal to zero or x minus two is equal to zero. Now let's solve for the roots using this. Three x plus one is equal to zero. Let's subtract one from both sides. So we have three x is equal to negative one. Divide both sides by three, x is equal to negative one third x minus 2 is equal to 0. Let's add 2 on both sides. 0 plus 2. x is equal to 2. So our final answer is x is equal to negative 1 third and 2. These are the roots of the equation. Simplify x cubed plus x squared y minus 6xy squared all over x squared minus 2xy. So in order to simplify this, kailangan natin i-factor ang numerator and denominator. So unahin muna natin itong numerator natin. Okay, so we have x cubed plus x squared y minus 6xy squared. So kung mapapansin natin, lahat ng terms natin sa numerator ay merong x. So, pwede natin i-factor out ang x. Ang x cubed magiging x squared. Ang x squared y magiging xy. And ang 6xy squared naman magiging 6y squared na lang. So, ang next natin gagawin is i-factor ang trinomial x squared plus xy minus 6y squared. Ang factors ng x squared ay x and x. Okay. Ano naman ang factors ng 6, 6y squared? Okay. So, we have y and y. May dalawang pairs of factors ang 6. We have 1 and 6 and 3 and 2. Pipiliin natin ang 3 and 2 para makakuha tayo ng positive xy. Paano natin gagawin yun? We will have x plus 3y times x minus 2y. So, let's check. x times 2y and 3y times x. x times negative 2y plus 3y times x we'll get negative 2xy plus 3xy, which is equal to positive xy. So, since hindi na natin ito factor out, we're done with the numerator. Let's check the denominator. We have x squared minus 2xy. Meron tayong x sa parehong terms. So, i-factor out natin ito. x Yung x squared magiging x na lang minus yung 2xy magiging 2y. So, we have x times x minus 2y for the denominator kasi hindi na natin mafafactor. So, again, our numerator is x times x plus 3y times x minus 2y over x times x minus 2y. Okay. Now, we need to cancel out yung mga like terms sa numerator and denominator. We have our x and our x minus 2y. Matitira ang x plus 3y, which is our final answer.